are going live. All right, uh, members of the Board of Trustees, please respond present when you hear your name. Uh, Chairperson Thompson. Present. Ryan Obergfell is absent and excused. Uh, Una Clark, we're still waiting on. Uh, Lorraine Cortez Vasquez, still waiting on. Okay, uh, Fernando Ferrer. I see you, muted. but you're muted, so I will mark you. Yeah. Um, Here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Kim. Present. Great, and Jill O'Donnell Tormy. Present. Great. Bill, you have a quorum. Okay, this public special executive committee meeting of the City University of New York's Board of Trustees is now called to order. On March 7th, 2020, Governor Cuomo issued Executive Order 202, declaring a state of emergency in response to the COVID-19 outbreak. On March 13th, 2020, Governor Cuomo issued Executive Order 202.1, which included a suspension of law, allowing the attendance of meetings telephonically or other similar service. Article 7 of the Public Officers Law, to the extent necessary to permit any public body to meet and take such actions authorized by the law without permitting in public in-person access to meetings and authorizing such meetings to be held remotely by conference call or similar service, provided that the public has the ability to view or listen to such proceedings and that such meetings are recorded and later transcribed. In accordance with the, exec with the executive order, this board meeting is being held by a video conference with a live stream found at the CUNY Board of Trustees website. A copy of the calendar is also available online at the CUNY Board of Trustees website. Additional items may be added during the meeting. As a reminder, please mute yourself so we can ensure that everyone could hear. Let me ask the secretary to take a roll call attendance for members of the chancellery. Great, so members of the chancellery and invited guests, please respond present when you hear your name. Uh, Chancellor Matos Rodriguez, and. the General Counsel and Senior Vice Chancellor for Legal Affairs, Derek Davis. Present. Executive Vice Chancellor and Chief Operating Officer, Hector Batista. Present. Okay, Senior Vice Chancellor and Chief. Gail, you're muted. Gail, you're muted. Yep, I see. And also... Yes. And also, John, uh, yeah, somebody went, Trust the other co host muted yeah, me. And, and I see Lorraine joined Gail. too. Trusty Clark has joined us. Yep. Great. So and Trusty Cortez Vasquez, Vasquez has joined us. Excellent. Right. So we welcome and we've now uh, logged you in. Okay. Um, Senior Vice Chancellor for Institutional Affairs and Strategic Advancement and Special Counsel. Present. Under Grace. Great. Interim Vice Chancellor Andrea Shapiro Davis. Present. President Anthony Monroe from BMCC. Present. And Interim President Daniel Lemons from Lehman College. Present. Great. That's it. Okay. Um, let's now turn to the items requiring a vote today. Uh, given that all board members are participating remotely and we may not be able to see everyone on the screen, I'll read the resolutions and ask for members to respond only if you'd like to abstain or oppose the item. Otherwise, your vote will be recorded as a yes vote. If you're voting no or abstaining, please state your name and vote. Additionally, if you wish to second an item or have any questions, please state your name first for the record and let's try to avoid speaking over each other. Item one is a resolution to accept the gift from the 2020 fund on behalf of the Borough of Manhattan Community College. Uh, may I have a second for this item first? Second. Um, with that, Chancellor, would you like to set the stage? I mean, it's brief. Um, this item and the next item, if you, you know, give us two minutes on this, because I don't think this is going to be a long meeting. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Chair Thompson. As I had uh, shared a bit with the with the board in executive session uh, last time, uh, when we had a, an inkling that the announcement of these two really fantastic gifts that that acknowledge the, the great work that uh, BMCC and Lehman in particular are doing, but that the entire system is doing for those who care about social mobility and equity and and uh, and really transformational education in higher ed. Um, we received 
uh, two gifts, 30 million each for both of Manana Community College and, and Lehman. Um, and the resolutions here are really the mechanism that allows to the board to authorize receiving uh, uh, those gifts. Um, and uh, and uh, so then uh, both BMCC and Lehman can begin um, to sort of uh, decide what is the best course of action in the, uh, in the usage of the funds. All this has happened uh, very quickly. Uh, we don't want to have any delays in letting the very eager um, uh, institutions that are helping um, Mackenzie Scott distribute these funds to uh, delay in getting the funds to us. So the resolutions were allowed to be able to, to do that. And then, um, although there's been some conversation already both at Lehman at a BMCC and also with my team about how could we use the funds in the best possible way in the future, they come really uh, with very, very little, uh, if any, uh, ties to them. They're really the best gift that you can give unrestricted, uh, connected to uh, keep doing the great work that you're doing as, a, as an institution. Uh, great validation of the work being done at BMCC and, and Lehman. Um, so this would allow us to be able to receive the gifts um, and then, um, um, as you see in, in the resolutions, um, the, the money in, in BFCC will come to uh, an interesting bearing university uh, account uh, to be held until decisions need to be made about um, 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 sort of where, where the funds will end up uh, being housed. And then we'll, you know, we'll go back to the regular board governance uh, uh, when that is required. In the case of Lehman, they're sort of divided 26 and four. Um, uh, 26 going to the, the university's investment pool and then four being uh, uh, sent to, the, to an account uh, so the college can over the next couple of years use them uh, for some uh, immediate institutional priorities. So um, Ben had some very good conversation with President Lemons and President Monroe about um, uh, their vision for some of these plans. In the case of President Monroe, it's very timely being that he's a new president in terms of some of the, the recently launched strategic plan and some of the priorities that um, uh, he's advocating at PMCC consistent with some of the ones that we have in the system uh, of investments in our students, workforce development, scholarships, um, you know, uh, research support for our faculty. Uh, in the case of, of uh, Lehman, President Le Lemons being uh, very, very judicious in, in setting up the, the ground for the next president really to be the steward of the larger bulk of the gift but identifying a part of money for some of the needs that we all know that our students uh, have in, in the immediate future. So I thought that was very uh, carefully uh, thought by both of them. So happy to take any, any, any questions from, um, from the board. Okay, thank you, Chancellor. I mean, it is, I guess it's rare that, uh, you know, in, in particular, you talk about holiday gifts. Uh, this really is a great holiday gift. Uh, and and a, a, in a very difficult year, a great way to be able to close the year out and a way to be able, and, a, and an excellent way to be able to start 2021 uh, as, as hopefully as, as a better year than 2020 was. Um, so with that, um, if there are, we both, we have um, the, pre, we have President Monroe from BMCC as, as well as, uh, ex, as well as Senior Vice Chancellor Grace, who will wear this as well as uh, from Lehman President Lemons, uh, who can answer, because that is, you know, both of those, this, this resolution and then this the resolution to follow um, are on, on that topic. This is just, we're accepting the, we're accepting very generous gifts uh, from Mackenzie Scott. So uh, I'm going to just say, are there any questions on either of the two items uh, before we vote on the first one and then I'll bring the second one up. So do we have any questions right now, my colleagues? Yuna, uh, Trustee Clark, you're on mute right now. We can't hear you've got to, un is there a way we can unmute Trustee Clark? Uh, 
has has the person been born that can actually mute Trustee Clark? That's the real question. You're, you're asking for it. Ah, you Dr. Clark, me. there you are. We can hear you. Fine. Okay. I just want to um, say that this is a great gift for CUNY, and I'm sure that both presidents and both institutions will make the best um, use of, of it and, and invest in ways that future students will also benefit. So I'm really pleased with this gift. Excellent, thank you. Any questions that anybody has of the presidents, of the chancellor, of uh, senior, senior chancellor or vice chancellor Grace? Okay, this is, this is one of the easy ones. So with that, um, let's vote on item number one. Uh, only respond if you'd like to abstain or oppose. Right. Item one has been approved. Item number two, resolution to accept a gift from the 2020 fund on behalf of Lehman College. May I have a second for this item? Second. I'll second. Excellent. Uh, again, any discussion on this item? Okay, we'll now vote. Please only respond if you'd like to abstain or oppose. That item is approved also. Um, there being no further business, a motion to adjourn. And before that, let me just wish everybody a happy new year. Let's look forward to a great 2021. Let us all stay healthy in the short term. Uh, and I'm looking forward to being in a room with all of you again in 2021 after we all get our, our, our vaccines. Thanks. So uh, have a wonderful new year. Happy holiday season. Do I have a second on a motion to adjourn? Second. Second. Excellent. All right, everybody. Happy Lorraine, by the way, I like Lorraine. Happy I like, year. I like the mask. Congrats, Tony, and Dan. Thank you. Happy New Year and congratulations. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, everyone. Congrats.